they don't care that you are a foreigner. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the raw truth of teaching here in the United States. A lot of people want to come here to experience the American dream. Teaching here is another opportunity for teachers who seek to experience that American dream. But what it is like, what is it like teaching here in the United States? Stay tuned to the end of this video and the other series to come about the raw truth of teaching here in the United States. Guys, before we go into that, I want to let you know that if you are studying and you'd like to get some discount off your packages, you can use study.com. Study.com, you can use my coupon code where you will get 35% off your first purchase. The link is in the description below. Guys, if you are interested in sharing your teaching experience on this platform with other teachers, please reach out to me on IG at Kicking with Dr. Britton. Teachers, we want to share what we know with other teachers who are interested in teaching abroad. So guys, a lot of people want to experience that American dream. And one way of experiencing that American dream is going to work in the United States while they explore different opportunities. For one, I can share my experience of teaching here in the United States and that it is a positive one if you know what is it that your intentions are. So, people who want to experience that American dream, they come and they work and they get to travel. They get to meet new people. You, they get to experience new cultures and also to explore different avenues they've never explored before. So I must take this opportunity to let you know that working in the United States can be a plus factor, but not all would say the same. So let's get straight into the raw facts, or should I say the raw truth. So guys, let's look at the first truth about teaching here in the United States. Number one, what you see is not always what you get. Personally for me, I know what I saw back in 2015 when I wanted to come to experience teaching in the United States was not what I saw when I came here. And I'll explain that further in this video. But I want to put that plain and simple and in this term, it's not a bed of roses. Don't think that you're leaving your country to come and teach here and everything is gonna be laid back, put together and ready for you. You need to come with the attitude and with the flexibility, knowing that you will be putting in the work. Because listen, there will still be lesson plans to be written there will be a lot of emails to respond to, a lot of phone calls to answer, and also a lot of parent contact logs to write. There might be things you've never done before in your home country, but when you get here, you will have to get on board and start doing what is required of your school district. Every school district has their own policy, and as an educator in that school district, it doesn't matter if you're from a different country, you will have to learn to adapt to those policies and ensure that you are keeping on task, up to date, and meeting deadlines like any other teacher in that school district. So, you might be working even twice or five times as hard as you would be working in your home country. Is that a good or a bad thing? You decide, but please note that wherever you go, work is work and we must be adaptable, flexible, and easily adapt to changes. That's how, or should I say one way, to cope in your new teaching environment. Number two, culture shock. If you have never experienced culture shock before, 
you might experience it in the United States or you may not. But I know personally, I experience culture shock. You come with one thing in your head and you experience something else or you see something else, you find something you're not accustomed to and so you are shocked by the culture. So, I don't know how to prepare people for culture shock because what might shock me might not shock you but culture shock is real and i've experienced it so prepare yourself for different cultures and i'm going to give you some examples so one example of culture shock is you might be used to a school culture that is closely knitted and everybody knows each other and everybody works together and then you are to a school culture that might be similar or it might be the total opposite. You might be exposed to a school culture where there's a lot of teachers, a lot of students, and there's no closeness in, you know, colleagues. And you will have to still find a way to make sure you're meeting deadlines and getting your tasks Done. You have to figure out ways on how you're going to navigate the system, how you're going to learn the system, who is it that you're going to try to get close to, and what is it you're trying to, and what is it that you are trying to obtain at the end of each day. That is one form of culture shock that you might experience. Or another culture shock you might experience, and this one was the one that really got me. I'm used to the city. I'm used to city life. And when I first got here, the school I was placed in was in a deep rural community. So I did not know what to do with myself and how to cope in an area like this. But after a while, I got it. I got it and I think I'm totally loving living in rural areas. Please note that most of the teaching programs place teachers in rural or deep rural areas where other teachers might not want to go. That's something you need to be aware of so that you know what is it that you're getting into before you actually get to your school district. Number three. This is not related to the classroom, but this still relates to people who want to come to the United States to teach. And so it's very important to share this raw truth. When you come here in the United States to work, having a good credit is of vital importance. Now business places and other entities, they don't care that you are a foreigner and you don't have a credit. They are still checking credit whenever it is time for you to get a car loan or if you're trying to rent an apartment. They want to know that you have good credit. How do you go about building credit? You just came here, you don't have credit, you have not experienced the American life before. It might be your first time coming to the United States. So how am I gonna get these things if I don't have credit? There are many ways of going about it. Try to get involved with groups of people who have been here before, that's from your country, who can share with you how they went about it. Also, try to get credit cards that are issued for people, it doesn't matter if you have a credit, and try to use those credit cards to build your credit. I could go on and on about the credit, but it's important for you to know that you will be asked to have a good credit in order to do certain business-related things here in the United States. Those are my three truths. That's not all more to come in the next series be on the lookout for that one if you're an international teacher and like to share your truth go ahead and shoot me a message on ig at kicking with dr Brick. if you like my shirt that i'm wearing today i'm going to be leaving another clipping of other shirts that you can purchase from kicking with dr britain we're international teachers with our own brand i love international teachers and so you can purchase them and celebrate yourself because listen, it took hard work for you to leave your home country and come here to teach in the United States or wherever you are in the world, 
teaching as an international teacher, be proud that you took that step because a lot of people cannot do it. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Do remember if you did not give this video a thumbs up as yet, touch that thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to be on the lookout for the next video if you're an international teacher as an Also, guys, I don't know what else to say. Let me see that. Hey, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be talking to you about the raw truth of teaching in the United States. Now, I am Stephanie Britton, and I will be sharing with you international experiences of teachers here in the United States. Now, I know a lot of people want to come to teach in the United States, and we think that everything that we see is as is when we get here but i'm here to give you more in-depth details of what it is like teaching here in the united states 